next character. Horong, Horang, whatever you want to say it. A lot, just like Asuka, he gets a bad rep. But his is deserved because of how people use him online. With the down 3-4 spam and the flamingo spam, he's just very... I know he requires a lot of execution for a lot of his stuff and stance cancels, but overall fighting against him is a nightmare because he has a lot of plus frame moves. Good evasion with this. Back three reaches forever. Yeah, plus six. And he's getting a new hop kick from right flamingo. He's yeah, just he's very spam friendly, which gives him a bad rep as it should. Because spammers are just the scum of online Tekken and what a lot of people dislike about online Tekken is because everyone just presses buttons and buttons and buttons and buttons and he is definitely a part of that problem but overall as a character I think he's I think his punishment is not that good his width punishment's great his pressure is great his defense is pretty good with back three reaching so far and this being the crush and he gets he just has a lot of launchers counter hit launchers he has a lot of stuff i personally wouldn't put him in well-rounded because he doesn't have a lot of like what fang has like he or dragon off he has a lot of plus frames he actually has a good throw game. It's very underrated, but not as good as Dragonoth. He doesn't have a lot. Overall, just because he has so many moves makes him well-rounded. But if we're just talking basics like down forward one or whatever, there's other characters or a lot of characters in this game that do it better than him. He just masks it with his great pressure and spammable moves. So that being said, for online purposes, for the average player, I would put him in well-rounded. I don't think he's too strong because some moves can be linear, so if you have a habit of stepping after stuff or dick jabbing at, to interrupt to try and get your turn back, um, and you can still, if your character had like Shaheen Law or Kazumi, if you have a magic four, it beats a lot of his stance moves. Um, so that's why I wouldn't put him in too strong, but if you don't know the matchup at all, he's definitely, you're going to think he's bullshit because he can do stuff that other characters that are spam friendly cannot do just because of how. How many moves does he have? 145, including everything. So he has a lot. I would put him in well rounded. Next, we have Jack Seven, the notorious big ass robot that everybody loves to hate. But ultimately, he is, I see him as a bigger version of Dragonoff in a sense, because one, he's very well rounded, he has a great throw game, with a one break, a two break, uh, one plus two breaks, which he can extend, um, great range, as you can always know. Down 4 2 is really good. All of his fundamentals are really strong, and that makes him a great character. On top of that, he's very easy to use, very beginner friendly, gets a lot of damage for free. Even if you don't go for the hard stuff, well, hard ish. Um, he just, I wouldn't say he's spam friendly, but he can definitely pressure with 50-50 between being down forward 2, down back 1 is probably one of the greatest low pokes in the game. 
or lows in general. Um, he has a house or snake edge. He has a forward forward one plus two. He has a plus frame running move, which gives that guaranteed. The infamous debug. Wall pressure is amazing because. So, Jack's moves work. His size works with his moves because. Although his movement isn't that good, his backdash isn't that good. Because he's so big and can pressure so well with forward forward one, running two, down back two, down back one. Like all of these are just great pressure moves, right? And if your back is on the wall with him doing all these moves, it's hard to get around him because he's so big. So that works in his favor as well. But as a character and how people use him online, I say he's very well-rounded as a character. But how people use him online is very unsafe. They always go for launchers. They always go for down forward two, forward forward one plus two, which is launch punishable. Side set moves, which take forever to come out. Um, power crush. He has a lot of great tools, fundamentally. I think he'll make you a stronger player, but for online purposes and how people use him and the skill range that I've seen online, I would put him in decent. I agree. Next character we have Jin. The first Mishima-esque character I tried only because, I say Mishima-esque because he does have a hop kick, he does have an electric, he has a hell sweep, he has all the Mishima tools, but even if you don't have the execution, you don't need them because he has great punishment, great plus frame moves, great range. Great counter hit launchers, great pokes, fast moves. His parry is one of the best in the game. Um, he has a wave dash for pressure. He has everything a Mishima has that makes Mishima's great and really strong, as well as everything what makes normal character great and strong with the hop kick, really good stance moves. Jin, I think, will teach you a lot fundamentally on how to use a lot of versatility in your game with different moves and homing and stepping and pressure and parries and throw game is really good. He has a two, one plus two break. Um, and if you have the execution, you could do a lot of good combos with him. Very popular as well. Like I said before, great punishment. I don't think he has any bad matchups because of all the moves he has. So like I said, he has all the things that make Mishima's great as well as what make normal characters great. So I think in general, regardless at any rank, any skill level, he has to be in well-rounded. No doubt. He's the definition of well-rounded. That's true, actually. And that's why he is the face of Tekken, in a sense. Yeah. Next character we have, Josie, a.k.a. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce without the back two. That's true. Um, <laughs> Josie is another spam friendly character. Has a lot of flash frame moves, a lot of stance moves, a lot of counter hit launchers, great wall carry, great damage, great evasion moves with her back sway in a sense. Um, she has a crouch dash which high crushes automatically. Um, 
great down for two. Good hop, good ish hop kick. Down for two is a lot better. Um, like I said, a lot of pressure. Really small, so she's really quick as well. A lot of cancels, just like Falkram Um I think she's very strong in the right hands because of the move she has. She can do a lot of damage. Let me see if I can demonstrate. I missed the ender, but it's 95 damage for just that combo. For a regular one. Yeah, it's still great damage. Some execution required with the crash dash and cancels and you would have to know what options you have with her stance moves. But all around, I think she's very strong, very applicable with or without lag at any level. She just has basically a tool for everything. I wouldn't say she's well-rounded just because as a character, she's not that strong with... It's kind of hard to explain because she's... She has a lot of moves for a lot of different scenarios. She has great damage, great wall combos. But at the same time, she's very unsafe. A lot of her stuff can be ducked. Um, or twitch ducked. It requires some execution, so with lag it can mess you up. But overall, even with her being as spam friendly as she is, with as good as damage can be, potentially, how far her, some of her moves hit from. I, I don't know, kind of on the fence between decent and well-rounded, because she has a lot of tools, she just... Yeah, she has great mix-ups too out of that switch stance. Her mix-ups or 50-50s are really good, yeah. Punishment's um, really good. But if you keep your distance and don't press buttons recklessly, it's kind of hard for her to open the opponent up. <clears throat> Other than 90 damage. Still... Yeah, if she gets a launcher, say goodbye to a lot of your health, just like a lot of characters in Season 3. But yeah, if you can keep her out, because the only, only couple reach from that far. And a lot of them she has to crouch dash, so you'll see the animation coming in anyways. Um, and they're not that scary. Like, that one only does 23 damage on counter hit and knocks down. But from that range, you're probably not going to press a button anyways. So, I personally, for the players I've faced that use Josie, even with me using Claudio, the simplest character in the game, I've been... Again, who did I say it was like? Um, as long as you're defensive, you can shut a lot of her stuff down. So, for that sense, I would say she's decent. But if you don't know the matchup, and you get launched a lot, fall for a lot of setups, because she does have a lot. Her down for 2 crushes literally every high in the game. Her orbital crushes mids and lows. Um... I'm torn. I don't know. Because it's easy to beat her, but if she's yes. winning, she does a ton of damage, and she has so many mix-ups. I just... I don't know. Like, I just don't think she's on, like... The well-rounded level. level. Yeah. Yeah, you know? Yeah, just for that... Because her moves, she has a lot of good moves, but they're not as strong as other people's. I think she goes in decent. Alright. So, our next character, Katarina. Um, I think she's fucking garbage. She get deleted. She's trash. Fuck anyone who uses her. Um, moving on. Our next character, Katarina. I... I don't see her a lot online. 
even though I know she's strong at a lot of different levels as well um, she has a lot of good moves a lot of keep uh, I wouldn't say keep out um, she has a good punishment good evasion with her flight stance um, she tracks a lot with her moves with back one and all that but I don't personally use her spear does so again I'm gonna let him take the lead on this. Okay, so wanna just get the pokes out of the way. She has a great 10 frame punish. Mishima level. She doesn't deserve that. Um <clears throat> great 13 frame down for two. Yep, down two. For her down forward one. Oh, that's a problem of its own. You hit confirm that down forward one. You can sidestep and do a jab string, whatever you want. It's your turn. Dubitably. It's such a long, ra large radius it covers. Um, her down back three, her down back four. Pretty low pokes. Here. Her flight stance stuff is well. She's just not as strong as she was, but her flight stance stuff is pretty interesting. The issue is on block. A lot of them can be 10 frame punished. Um, her health sweep, you know, can be telegraphed, duck punished, heavy, and the worst of all is that I believe this this often gets stepped to the right and then punished for that as well. Um, Another issue with her is probably her low damage output. Um, she doesn't go above 65 very much. Um, also, many new players might have an issue doing her back forward inputs, which is her combo filler. Um, also, her uh, wall combo stuff is pretty inconsistent from male to female hitboxes. I remember in our first of five, like, I did a male wall combo on Elisa and it worked, but then I tried it subsequently and it never worked. It was, yeah, that one. It works very situationally, I guess. It's odd. Um, her, oh man. Let's get something, let's clear the air on something heavy. Her running two. Biggest lie in Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> Minus four on block, man. You think it's plus, you think it's your turn. Nope. If it gets blocked, hold back at all costs. Because it's not your turn per se. Um <clears throat> so I wouldn't even like I wouldn't worry about doing it too much these days. Maybe here and there by the wall. See what your opponent does. Um I'd say her power crush stuff is pretty whack. I mean, her back one plus two, you know, that parry thing, it's alright. None to, none to, you know, flip tables over. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, she's pretty fundamental beginner friendly, but you're probably gonna get bored of her. In favor of somebody a little her? more exciting. Uh, oh, she's well rounded for sure, no doubt. You condition your opponent not to step right, you know, use your pokes correctly. She's well rounded. Just low damage output without a wall. I would agree. Next character we have another Mishima. Kazuya. I all of the ones I face online they're either very hesitant to throw out the hell sweep or they do it all the time like devil gins um, a lot of them just mix up with this and hell sweep sometimes it's basically just a guessing game with a lot of them but I don't use him as I said I'm not a Mishima player spear is so again He's gonna explain. 
Okay. So, an obvious weakness of Kazuya <clears throat> is um, lack of good mid pokes. He has his jab string, which are high, but his best mid poke is an instant while running or while rising forward. That's the best he's got. Great frames, though. But, <clears throat> you know, no green rank, no orange rank. He's gonna be able to do that all the time. Um, he probably just throw out a health soup on accident. It's kind of tricky. Um, but you could do down forward four to make it look like it, you know? Kind of, kind of match the difference. Um, but one thing I will say that I like about Kazuya as opposed to other Mishimas, you know, I'm probably a better Devil Gym player. He has a built-in misstep, which makes his electrics easier to do. <clears throat> also, is that why I'm landing so many on the left? Yeah, dude, that misstep is just a real helper. Also, huh. I feel like he has a better mid launcher mix up game as opposed to the other two. Side step three, forward forward three, to the hell sweep mix up. Um, also. <clears throat> You know, his wild rise, his CD, wild rising three, that screws on counter hit. Um, of course, that aside, in terms of punishing frames, launcher's got to go to the electric. Like I said, it's easier. Um, <clears throat> also, I think he has way better lows than the other two. Because they're both his bound back four and his down back three are both minus 12 on block, which means nobody can launch him, not oh. even himself. <laughs> I think that's 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 a game winner right there. That means you have nothing to fear when throwing out those lows. The only lows you have to fear are doing standard down fours, which I mean shouldn't really be doing that at all unless you're trying to stop an opponent from stepping or hell sweep but that's where you mix up you know forward forward three and other things in order to mask the hell sweep from coming and once you land that hell sweep you get a great mix up i think with devil Jin's hell sweep online you uh <clears throat> you kind of give the opponent time to think while you're beating him up to the wall so it's kind of a give or take thing but that aside, you know, he's, like I said, obvious weaknesses, bad range in his mid pokes other than his instant while running rising four. His forward three may look good, but it's minus 13 on block. So Fang's shoulder's gonna hit that, amongst other things. <clears throat> so, but what's really great about Kazuya is comeback potential, second to none. You hit a down forward two, you got rage. Oh my god. You're in the money. And his devil stance, mid electrics. It's just. Got a lot of tools. And if you can hit that perfect electric, which I don't respect anybody to online, but it's possible. You know, that's still good damage. But if you even if you hit a down forward two counter hit into an electric regardless, you're still you're still hitting big damage. <clears throat> you know, sixty-six with rage, it's going into seventies, maybe more. You know, his power crush is only minus twelve on block. Devil Jins is minus fourteen. Things like that. That's why I just think he's the best Mishima the easiest to use Mishima and online I think if you're like you you don't even need to wave dash so much as you just need to think about how to mix your opponent up just get in there think of something and do it <clears throat> but if the opponent knows the matchup that's when things get a lot more difficult so yeah I would say I don't want to say he's too strong but at the same time with the lows, and the power crush, and the comeback potential, I just, I, I just think he's on Devil Jin's level, at least online. Any thoughts? 
I think... I'm trying to think of the how people use him online. I think, again, he's very... He's probably the most... 50, 50, one of the very most 50 50 characters in the entire game where you're either gonna die by ducking or live by ducking. Yep. Um, he has good punishment. His rage isn't that well, like you said, so if you can keep him out, it kinda hinders his game plan a bit. Um, if you're good at stepping as well, it kinda hinders what he can do. I, th in my personal opinion, Devil Jin can get a lot more out of his health sweep just because it launches. Even Jin can get more than Kazuya, but Kazuya's health sweep is scarier because of the Oki he gets afterwards. So I personally think Devil Jin is a stronger character. Overall, just because of the other moves he has, but Kazuya is still well-rounded. I would put him well-rounded. Because if they get predictable, he's a lot easier to beat, in my opinion. If you can keep him out, it kind of slows hit everything down with him. So I would put him well-rounded, because if he's in your face and mixing you up with Great Oki and you guess wrong, you're going to die really quick, but at the same time, if you guess right and keep him out, he can die pretty quick. So it's kind of 50-50 in that sense as well. But I would put him well-rounded, because he is probably, with the Hell Sweep mid-launcher mix-up, he's probably the scariest. But I don't think he's too strong. Next, we have King. I think, personally, at any level, he is a very scary character. At lower levels, you're going to get thrown a lot because that's why people pick him up. Um, his damage in the multi-throw is probably the one thing, or the first thing lower ranks will probably learn. Um, but higher ranks will probably keep it at a minimum because they're probably going to get broken. So they'll rely on his moves and less throws and just throw them out and use them here and there just to mix you up. But the moves he has, his punishment, his range, his mix-up potential, his combo damage, he has a wave dash, He just has great Oki as well. A lot of counter hit launchers. Some just frame stuff. He's no doubt in my mind well rounded. I don't want to say he's too strong because if you break every throw, which is impossible. But if you start ducking because they get predictable on the throws, you can launch them really easy. Um, he doesn't have a panic move in a sense. Um, when he has Jaguar step, he has some unblockable moves. Um, a lot of cheap stuff that can make him very annoying at lower levels, even at higher levels, depending on how they play. Um, but he's very punishable. You can launch him for a lot of things. He can get very predictable, but if the king player mixes everything up really well I think King is one of the scariest characters to fight against using he I don't think he has a bad matchup but at the same time he's not to the sense where I'm gonna see him online and be like fuck like I do with Fakum Rom or Leroy be like man I just want to shut this game off like I've never had that with King so that's the only reason I would put him and well-rounded and not too strong. 
but overall any any rank this he's a problem yep. next we have kuma i would put panda in the same exact category so we're just going to skip him later on we can get to the peas bears are not supposed to be good i think that's the point they're only in the game for comedic relief um they have a lot of silly moves they have a lot of unsafe moves like a lot of people know this but his wall rising what is it from stance So from stance is down forward two. That's launch punishable. One plus two, one plus two is launch punishable. Minus 12. Minus 11. He doesn't have good pokes. A lot of things can be ducked. His power crush, minus 15. Like he, he's very unsafe. He makes up for it in his weird hitbox where some combos will drop because you have to adjust to his body type so normal combos you have to um, change either the middle or the end so to land on him but he does do a lot of fucking damage overall just punishment if you can just punish with him all day like that's his 12 frame punish is 34 damage that's one of the higher ones it's really good. Um, a lot of range, obviously. Decent launchers. Decent power crush when it hits. Um, even when on the ground. He can start doing this weird shit. Um, he has unblockable setups. He has the weakest wall bounce in the game. His wall combo is really easy does a lot of damage but overall character to character I think the bears would fuck Gigas up <laughs> just fundamentally wise bears have a lot more they have mix ups they have 50-50s they have a throw game they have a stance that actually is semi scary they have hell sweeps, they have snake edges, they have a lot of gimmicky shit as well, which make them overall in the category of king, where he has a lot of gimmicky stuff, so you can play him that way. He has a lot of solid stuff, like his punishment, so you can play him that way as well. It's just they're not as good as most of the cast, which puts him lower on the tier list regardless. But that being said, if you play smart and fundamentally and you're just a really strong player, I think you can go pretty far with him. A lot further than Gigas just because of the moves that they have. But as a character, he gets beat out a lot of stuff just because, like I said, other characters, their moves are just flat out better than his. So I personally... Especially with this low right here, forward forward two, back to one cancels into stance, stance mix ups between the lows and the mids. I would say he's okay. Where is that right now? Okay. Next we have Lars. I see a lot of tier lists putting Lars all the way at the bottom I don't think he deserves that he has a lot of I would say he's a mix between Elisa with his evasion and jumping and this is kind of like Noctis's I guess Noctis took it from him um, his lows are very unsafe but he has a lot of counter hit launchers like Brian as well, like down back four. His combos are easy to do. He has great wall carry. His wall combo is really easy. He has good punishment. 
Um, the only thing he lacks in is... He has great mix-ups as well from Stance with this being available. The only thing I would say he lacks in is he's very unsafe. But if you time everything correctly and can land moves, then you'll be, what, plus five? This is a frame trap. Down two on even block is neutral, so one, one, one will beat out anything they do since they're going crouch. So he has a lot of setups, he has a lot of easy combos, great ex or easy execution. Um, not as wide of a range of moves to be well-rounded enough to be like really good in some matchups because he obviously has some bad matchups just flat out because he's unsafe. But I don't think he's as low as people make him. I think he's really good. He's very underrated because his orbital is godlike. That shit reaches across the stage just like Block Um... His pressure's really good if you don't know the matchup. His mix-up from stance, and even if you hold it or press forward, you can go into the other stance. It just switches. Your brain has to switch that fast to the, whatever moves he has now. Um, decent one plus two throw. He has whatever flying shit this is for a mix-up, even though everyone's just gonna duck or sidestep it. Um, but I think he could be very unpredictable with them. I think his punishment's great if you be defensive with them. Um, you can't spam it out like most or some characters, but I don't think he's as bad as people think. So I would put him in decent. Uh, me personally, I think he's okay because the simple fact that every single low he has is lost punch to one block by somebody. But it's very obvious that he is he is built for evasion, you know, with punishing two with his uh, down back one plus two. That's um that's a good counter hit with Punisher. Amongst other things. Um, his stance moves, they're uh they can mix you up a little bit, but if they get blocked, well, you're gonna suffer the consequences. Also, I believe his um his little barring backlash move is uh, minus ten. No, they made it safe. Oh, they made it safe. It's minus nine. Um, he is uh definitely not his tag two counterpart. His new down forward two. It's just. It's not up to par with the tag 2-1 that is made into a square couch and down for two. Um, but, you know, screw system calls for it. Um, great wall carry, great wall combo. But at the same time, I think he only has one wall combo variant to get you good damage. I don't think the rest sets you up for much else. Um, That's true. Um, but I just really feel like, you know, with that backlash being duckable, um, and all his lows being launched punishable, it's just, it's very hard for me to just say he's decent, I think he's okay, but to any character that knows the match, any player that knows the match, he's just, it's an uphill battle, especially back in season one, he's better now, that's undisputed, but I still think he's just... I don't know, I think he needs some work. He's okay, I guess. But if you believe he's decent, a lot of people believe he's decent. And they can mix me up and mix many others up. So I guess he's decent. Next, we have Law. Me, personally, just right off the bat, he is one of the... If you... Depending on how they play, because if they play like uh, Green Ring Brian and they do all these snake edges and dragon tails and I don't even know how to do it, what is it? Oh, down back four. If they just try and do all the scummy stuff like this, and he's very easy to beat because he's very unsafe in that aspect. But if you play a very patient law, oh my slides suck on this side. But if you play a very patient law with good fundamentals and 
He, they know when to press, when not to press, how to whiff punish. He is one of the hardest characters to get in on and stay away from. His combo with this ender is hard to land with lag and all that, but he has a lot of combo versatility. A lot of moves that he can just switch out and still get damaged. His wall combo is easy enough to do. Um, very beginner friendly, some execution, but you don't need those moves to be good with him. Great poking, great mix-ups. Easy, easy damage for what he can do if you're not ready to punish him or duck the strings. Uh, he can also be very cheeky with what is it? How do you do that? Oh. Very evasive as well. Um, but me, how I see him online and how he's played, hands down, he's well rounded. I wouldn't say too strong because of he's not at his highest level. You're just playing him online. I would say he's just well rounded. Very strong, very poke heavy, very fundamental based, easy to use. He just he's a very strong character. Next we have Lee. I used to use him. And then I stopped because of how very difficult he is to use. Before I even started recording, I tried to land this a hundred times. I did it twice. And then I couldn't do the follow up. He just. He's a lot of work for the little damage you get. I know Shaheen came in afterwards, but I would put Lee as a mix between Shaheen and Law. Like, look at that. Um, he has good damage if you have the execution. Online makes it harder because of the lag. He has a full crouch mix up, full crouch moves. He has a lot of launchers, a lot of wall carry with the cancel. Uh, he's very flashy, very cool, very fun to use. But for the damage he gets, for how hard he is to use, I just... I don't think he's worth it. Um, fighting against him... Me, personally, I've always had problems with him. One, because... The ones I usually run into are very defensive. They do a lot of plus frame moves. Um, they're really good at whip punishing with this. Um, but the reason I say he's a mix between Shaheen and Law is Shaheen has down two. Looks exactly the same, probably the same frames. High crush is the same. Uh, his forward 2-1 is just like Shaheen's down back 2-1. Um, but Shaheen goes into stance. They all three have a slight full crouch mix-up. Um, but he's just a lot of work to use. So he's definitely not beginner friendly. He's... Punishment's okay. He's definitely not well-rounded because he has a lot of plots in his game. I would say he's decent online. What do you think? I would say he's decent online. Like a lot of Lee players online, you know, kind of reach into his quote-unquote full potential with his um back to sway combo extenders 
but I mean, how can you? That is hard stuff. It's it's <clears throat> heavy execution, low reward, and uh, it's unfortunate because he's a cool character. Yeah, so he goes in decent. Yep. Next we have Leo. Leo. Honestly, I don't have much to say about him because one, you don't see him a lot on or offline. Um, I don't think he's very strong. He has, the moves he has are good enough to get him by. He has some mix ups, his stance is pretty good. Great evasion with this fucking shit. This shit's broken online. Um, and then this into whatever, that into that, yeah. So that on block into this to basically make anything with. Very beginner friendly to use. Easy execution. Decent punishment from what I remember going through his move list. Um, but all the ones I fight online, especially, are very spam friendly. All they do is press buttons. They just non-stop pressure you at all costs, even though they're at minus frames, plus frames. Um, it doesn't matter. Just all... All Leos I remember facing have been pressure happy. So I was able to beat them pretty easy because I'm defensive using Claudio and Shaheen as my two mains, but... Just going through his move list, um, he has potential. I think I would put him in decent. What do you think? Yeah, I would say he's decent. He has pretty good moves, such as his trip sweep thing. Um, you know, that's pretty annoying to deal with, especially at the wall. Um, but, you know, speaking of walls, his combo damage, not that good. Not that good without a wall. It, it's very awkward combos to do. And, um, it's like, it's like a, I hate, I hate to do this twice, but it's like a Diet Julia. Like, <laughs> like, Awkward combo fillers, less damage without a wall. Um, stances with just not as much reward other than that that crouch stance that is a mix up, but you know, at least with my main thing is down for that. Check them. Um, yeah, Claudio go back through it all day. Just stop it. Yeah. So I mean, I think with Leo it comes down to the player more than the character. And He's like I said, all the ones move. all the ones I fought are just spam friendly. What about you? Um I've seen a couple in blue ranks and they're not bad. But you know, they're they're, they're definitely putting in a lot of work. But yeah, many of them you'll find are very spam friendly with a uh, your stance into something, but I can't judge. I can't all day. <laughs> no. yeah, so he goes in decent. Decent, yeah. Okay. Next we have Lily. Um, very popular. Very, I want to say very easy to use. Her combos take some execution. Um, she's. Very evasive with Matterhorn or great sidestep, back turn moves, jumping, this fucking thing. Um, good crouch moves as well. Um, snake edge, crushing highs and lows from all all around. Also, she has a lot of plus frame moves on hit, on block. So she can pressure all, I wouldn't say all, but a lot of the lilies I see online 
are very trigger happy, just like Leo's are. Um, so in that sense, I would say she's very beginner friendly, but her moves, I don't know. I would say overall as a character, for what I've seen online, she's between decent and okay because she's unsafe most of the time. Um, she's very linear even after plus eight on what? On hit. She just... I would put her in the middle but most... I would say she's decent because she has damage, she has good wall carry, she has some execution barrier with her cancels um she doesn't have that good range or like with punishing and stuff she doesn't have that good of uh, poking or comeback potential but she has enough to get players far enough with her she's just not that strong in my eyes because of how I see her online being played 90% of the time, um, I would put her in decent. I would agree. There's a couple of things I want to add about fighting her. For one, her Matterhorn is like minus 20 something, so punish that with your best punish. Um, you know, a lot of the time she'll, uh, approach you and then hit a move, end up in back stance. In that regard, the most lily players at lower level to mid-level are probably going to just down jab to get out of back stance. So look out for that. Um, always break one plus two because that's the only throw lily players use most of the time. Can't blame them, it's pretty good. About all I can say. Also, low parry that uh, snake edge is pretty slow. Pretty slow. Look frames. out for her. Look out for a verbal cue. You can hear it. Um, that's all I can say. She's decent. You gotta mix people up when using her. Agreed. Next, we have Lucky Chloe. So. It's not much to say about her in the sense that she's not. She does a shit ton of damage, regardless. Um. Yeah, and that was dropped, and that was 73 damage. Um. She's not that strong in general. She's not that weak either. But if you know the matchup, and just like a lot of the other characters, if you're patient against her, you can beat her out of a lot of stuff. Um, she's very unsafe. She's very steppable for her main moves. Like this, for instance. What is it? Um, this, you can step to the left. Some moves you can step to the right, but it's very linear. Um, it's not even a character you need to know the matchup for. She just... She has some mix-up potential. A throw mix-up. Um, she's not even like a knockoff Eddie either, because she's not as evasive. She's very unsafe, with her hop kick being minus 15. Um, I don't know, it's just something about her. She's definitely not strong. She's definitely not weak. I would put her in. She's okay. Yeah, I'd put her in okay. You gotta work to get, get wins with her, but... If you land that one lucky launcher, half life without the wall. But oh man. Yeah, but outside of that. Down. Yeah, she can she can go away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. 
There's not much to say about her. It's, she's not that scary, but she does do a lot of damage. So as long as you don't get launched by her and just have to deal with some some pokes here and there and punishes and low parry this string. Low parry the second hit of that. She's, yeah, she's just okay, in my opinion. Next we have Master Raven. Um, I've only played a couple. You can see on my channel with uh, the Claudio ranked videos. I fought a few in there. Um, other than that, she's. I know she's not that popular. I know she should be popular because she's very evasive and her teleport stuff and. I don't even know if her punishment's good. I don't know a lot about her. I know how to fight against her for the most part. Because Claudio's a good matchup for her, but. Um, Spear knows more than I do, so I'm gonna let him go. Um, I don't know too much more than you, but I'll give it a shot. You know, great thing about Master Raven, I would say, is she has great distance control with her lows. Um, I think it's her down back three or something like that. Or, okay. Down back four, something like that. Great, great, great control in the distance. Um, she has her, uh, little fly high teleport mix-ups. I can uh, confuse an opponent, you know. Um, <clears throat> great safe pokes when you're up close. Um, her combos. Oh yeah, that, uh, that unblockable but gets them every time. Um, pretty good evasion. And, um, you know, I think she has definitely one of the scariest back stances in the game. With her quick low sweeps with her hands, of all things. Um. I didn't think she had this many. Yeah, this is the stuff that Claudio just knocks her out of with the hop kick. This power crush is really good. That's all I see online. Let's back turn this into that. Yep. Anything that phases, Claudio just shuts down. That's really good. Yep. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> um. Like anything else to say about to her? If you don't know what to do against her back stance. That stuff becomes a lot more. Annoying to say the least, but yeah, great distance control. I think her combos can get you pretty far to the wall. Really, anybody's can, but hers are pretty good with it. Um, they're kind of they're kind of hard to do because they go so far up in the air. But I only played her for like a week back in the day. I'd, I'd say she's 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 decent to well rounded. I'd like print her decent like... just because of how people apply her. Like, they try to be very gimmicky with her, and I think she's more solid than that, so. I'd agree. But I don't think she's well rounded. She goes in decent. <laughs> 